I don't know if you can see it, my brothers and sisters, but there is something that I wanted to show you that is actually on my arm. You know, maybe you can see it, two scratches, one here and one here. These are not just ordinary scratches. These are scratches of my dragon. My dragon gave me these scratches yesterday. Yesterday I, I made a ritual. My dragon was very much present yesterday. And I, I did a, a dragon dance yesterday, a skyclad dragon dance. That is very intense. It was very intense. Um, and I did this. Yeah, it's the perfect weather for this. It's not, it's, it's warm. It's, yeah. A skyclad ritual is, is something that you do naked. And naked because you want to show your, your dragon your spirit. And we had a very in, intense, yeah ritual that we had we had a dragon dance constantly touching each other it was actually very very pretty but the dragon touched me here as well normally it, it's like three scratches but now it, it was uh because he was actually a bit careful more, more careful that he make makes two scratches with his claws these are claws mark of the dragon my brothers and sisters yeah, actually these are physical things that you can do because I gave and that is what you do in a skyclad dragon dance when it's everything is so intense you give a lot of energy to your dragon life force even a life force that you give to your dragon and yeah of course the more that you give the more physical that they can become the more closer that you get with the dragon and then you have something like this of course am I angry with them of course not but the dragon can make mistakes the dragon is <laughs> When I did this, actually everything, when my dragon did this, everything became at a halt from this dragon dance. It's like, oh my goodness, uh, that my dragon did, of course. My dragon actually was, yeah, was like, oh no. <laughs> and I said, it's okay, I love it, I love it. Actually, it was a bit bleeding, it, now it's much lesser, but yesterday it was much worse. A dragon claw on your, on your shoulder, it's actually very, very intense. It's actually like a burning sensation. It's not the first time that I had this. Your dragon can, I mean, I give so much to my dragon, very, very much energy, so much energy to my dragon that the dragon is, can be physically touching you. You can sometimes even feel it. I give everything to them, to my dragon. Of course, the more intense that, that the ritual is, the more that your dragon will be effectively there before you. And so the more that the claws can become real once they are touching you. That is, that is what a dragon dance is. You are constantly in between with each other, always intertwining with each other, always touching each other. Of course, the dragon has a claw. It's like... <sighs> Oh, 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 sorry. He just wanted to touch my shoulder. But in fact, while doing this, it's like, they have such claws. And I can, can see this, how, how sharp a dragon claw is. It's like, wow. They, they sometimes call it the, the trinity, the mark of the trinity. But it's actually just two, two scratch marks. And um, yeah, the dragon is not perfect in this. The dragon, sometimes they do it without knowing it. They, they, they also make mistakes. And also by mistakes in hurting you in physical way of course you have just a, a, a human body a human body is very fragile that, that is not what a dragon is a dragon is has a harsh armor around him a dragon is not something that uh, not doesn't have a body like a human but a human can be injured easily so the dragon has to be very careful once they touch you because their claws are so strong my brothers and sisters and so I could feel this. And when a dragon spirit does that, it feels like a burning sensation. It's not just like someone that scratches you. It's more like a burning sensation, like, like fire, really, <laughs> uh, when, when the dragon does that. So yeah, I wanted to say this. And that is also something that I recommend, a dragon dance, my brothers and sisters, is a draconic uh, ritual that you do with your dragon. A dragon dance is like when you are becoming in trance, let your human self sleep, become the dragon and let the dragon be there so that you can intertwine with each other. The better that you do it is without clothes, so that your dragon can be uh, seeing you in how you really are, because they want to see your soul. They want to see it. That is why sometimes they don't see the body anymore. And that is what happened yesterday. They, they, my dragon didn't see the body anymore. And it's like... <laughs> But once he did, it's like, ah, this is like really coming out of this trance, like, oh, but I, 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 
am not angry with my dragon or something like this. I'm actually, I'm actually very proud of this. I'm actually, I have a physical proof of a dragon scratch. Really, I have a physical proof of that. Of course, so people will see you have injured something else. No, because it, I remember it from yesterday. I remember these scratches from yesterday. I remember how, how they were made. So, these are, it's, it's so just a light scratch now. It's like, it's going away very easily, but yeah, I can say these are the proof of, this is the proof of my dragon. This is the dragon that has touched me. And this, this, these are really claws. And I remember that the dragon has really sharp claws, very sharp claws. And yeah, everything about the dragon is just so perfect. Like the, everything, their horns, their tail, their, their wings, their, um, their scales, and also their claws. Their claws are just to protect. They are always to protect. They are uh, everything that they have, the dragon always protects. So yeah, recommendation, my brothers and sisters. Put away your clothes. Put away your clothes. Do it in your bedroom where no one is, no one watches. I do it here, my brothers and sisters. I do it here in the forest at night because no one comes here and I'm not afraid of the dark in, this, in these forests. I am, like I said, a dragon witch. I do not fear the night. I do not fear the forest. I do not fear what I cannot see. I only fear humans and that is the only thing in this world. I only fear humans and I fear death. That is the only thing that I actually fear in this world. But I do not fear the forest. Oh no, clothes off. Let us, let us do it. Let us just... The, this poor deer, this poor deer that saw me. Oh my goodness, poor animal. Yeah, that is that is the only one that saw that saw me. But I really don't care. It's like let the dragon come to me. Let the dragon be here. Put away my clothes. See my soul because I want to. I want to to intertwine. I want to be with you. And so I feel the dragon touching me all the time. But it was like very careful. It's like like this more this a sensation that you have not really grabbing not the dragon doesn't grab the dragon does that does like this it's like feeling touching intertwining dancing with each other like a dancing of spirits this is a dragon dance this is what i did yesterday yeah the, uh, while i did the dragon dance but my dragon once did this like this, and it's just immediately with response <laughs> immediately but like my my fragile body yeah, but yeah, I, like I said, I, I don't mind. I mean, I've been even proud of it. Yeah, that you can see I've been scratched by a real dragon. A dragon that is connecting with me. Of course, I cannot say this to the outside world whatsoever. Because they will see, oh, the dragon scratched you? The insane asylum is that way. <laughs> I know. But I can say this to you, my brothers and sisters. I cannot prove, actually, this is actually proof. This is, this is really I, from nothing else and no one else than my dragon. My dragon gave me these scratches unwillingly, unintentioned, unintended, willingly. Un <laughs> that, that my dragon didn't actually want to give me this. But actually, I said to my dragon, you can always give me this. Even if, even if you accidentally or willingly killing me, I can say... That is how, how sincere I am on my dragon's path. My brothers and sisters, it's n I don't play around. If I can say to my dragon, if, if you are the cause of my death, then I will die a happy man. I will die happy. Because I will die with a lot of honor. Because you are the one that did it. Yeah, th that, is, that is how deep I am in the dragon's path. That is how you become a dragon witch. That is how you, you give everything to your dragon to let them become physical before you maybe you've seen this too maybe you felt this too that your dragon comes on your bed and you feel that that your dragon is there that it becomes warmer that everything becomes much more intense inside of the room and that you physically can even feel the dragon on your bed that is trying to have a night with you trying to have a sleep with you uh, and so yeah, that, that is something that you can feel, but if you have a dragon dance, then you let the dragon intertwine and you give energy to your dragon. You give, you, during this intense ritual, you give energy to your dragon. And the dragon, in response, gives energy to you. So you are actually going together. You are one actually together once this dragon dance is coming. And the reason for no clothes is simply that you can see your soul.
Dus je kan zien je draak en zo. So, but in order to do so, you have to let your human self, self sleep. So, in, to, uh, in order to let your some human self sleep, you have to just, um, yeah, for everyone this is different. But to let your human self sleep, you have to need, you need a minute before you do this. You need a minute. Go sit on your couch, just meditate, just do nothing, and become the dragon when, you're, when you are ready for it. So yeah, my brothers, I wanted to show you this. I'm actually very proud of my scratch because yeah, it's not the first time that this happened. It's ha it happened before, but my dragon can always give me these scratches.